Hi friends, it's Deb. I am doing my December update, which will be update number one for It's Panning Cats and Dogs Round 2. This is the project that I created with Danny for the Fantastic Ladies group. It started on the 22nd of October this year and will end on the 22nd of October next year. That is National Make a Dog Day. Someone asked me recently, and yes, that is also my birthday, October 22nd. Last year we had 40 prompts plus two bonus prompts. This year we dropped it down to 30 prompts with one bonus. Honestly, I, I'm getting burnt out on projects that have just a lot of prompts in them. So in order to do more projects, I am trying to do more projects with fewer prompts, if that makes sense. So anyway, there are monthly updates on the 22nd social media hashtag is the same as last year panning pets pp and you can do this however you want you can do it roulette you can roll in everything at one time you can roll in half now half in six months whatever works for you last year i did it roulette style and it didn't work out super well for me so this year i rolled in all the prompts at the beginning and uh, so far i feel really good about that so let's start at the beginning and I did put these in alphabetical order, not for any reason other than it pleased my brain. <laughs> so prompt number one is agility. This is a new prompt this year, credit to Taru. A product that requires practice to use. I don't think anyone will disagree with this. Lashes and lash glue require a lot of practice. I want to finish this one. It was open when I brought it in. I didn't mark it because honestly, it doesn't really matter when these start to get gunky glue will stick up here and down here so yeah anyway i have used this six times since the intro and this one is already acting a little funky i did just order a new one so if this one does not make it Let's say if this doesn't even make it to the beginning of the new year, when I bring the new one in, I will replace this prompt and then that will be to finish. Okay, anyway, six uses so far. Number two, balls and toys, something that always rolls away, lippies, mascara, basically anything round. I have a Benefit Roller Lash, which is perfect for this prompt. It's a little travel size. My goal will be to finish and this is that I opened this on the 6th of November, and I don't remember doing that. I don't remember opening it. Oh, yes, I do. Now that I looked at the brush. Okay, uh, so this one's open. So because this is a mini, this prompt will be done. Oh, man. This size of mascara, I hate using for more than a month, although I do it. I'm going to let this one go until the end of the year. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Shame on me. Okay, anyway, that one's open. Number three, Beagle. They are scent hounds. So a scented item, one of my favorite scents, is the Tropic Glow from Tree Hut. I have the Sugar Scrub. I want to complete this. It is open, but I currently have three sugar scrubs, three tree hut sugar scrubs open, and I had a another one open in this project. I just rotate through and just use whatever I'm feeling at the time, so I have no idea when that'll be done, and I love it, so no hurry. Number four, best of breed. This was one of the bonus prompts last year, but it was one of the favorites. So we just made it into just a standard prompt this year. Tell us about your pet, past or present, doesn't have to be a cat or dog, and an item that you love with your whole heart. Last year, I worked on products separately for my two dogs, Bosco and Bentley. This year, I'm clumping them together with one product that I absolutely love, and it's something they love too. They love veggies. And this is the Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. My goal will be to finish, and I have only used it once. And I wanted to use it last night, but I actually have another mask that expires in January. So that's kind of getting my attention right now. 
but that one will be no problem to finish. Number five, Bichon Freeze. They are hypoallergenic, a clean makeup or skincare product. From Kosas, I have the, what is this called? The Revealer Concealer, does that sound right? I can't read it. Um, I think mine's in 0.5N. I want to use this, I have 15 times on here. This is a year long project, so I'm going to go ahead and increase that to 30, I think. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna increase this to 30. I'm already at seven out of 15. Yeah, let me make a note, increase to 30. And then if I hit that easily, then I'll up it again. But for right now, let's just do 30. Number six, Black Cat. This is a new prompt, two parts of it from Corey Step, black packaging product or black owned makeup brand. And from Zoe Redstone, something you feel lucky to own. In the intro, I said both. This is a black product and I feel incredibly lucky to own it. I want to tell you that I I was wrong. Mm -hmm. I was really wrong. I raved about the Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal liner in black. Like how luxurious it was and just how creamy it was. And so for all of the reasons that I raved about it, those have become the reasons I dislike it. So when you order from Victoria Beckham, the experience is 10 out of 10. It, you really feel special. Your products come just packaged so nicely. It, it, it's, just, it's a whole experience and I think everyone should do that once. <laughs> but this liner, it has a smudger on one end and the liner on the other but this liner is so soft, I'm finding that I have to sharpen it with every single use because the tip just completely like smashes down because it's so soft. I'm not even touching my skin and I have just this thick, thick line. So here's the problem with this. If you were going to line, like let's say underneath your lower lashes and then smudge it out or your top lash line and smudge it out, great. But I need to tight line and do my upper upper lash line. But just doing that, holding my eye closed like this to apply it, it moves down to the bottom. And if I put it in my tight line, it ends up in my water line. So I'm constantly having to clean up black from the lower lash line and it's so messy. <laughs> I just, in the days that I have worn this in my waterline, it doesn't stay. It's too creamy, so it doesn't like set. It's very, yeah, so I don't love it. I really don't. I wanna use it 20 times. Today was use number six. I will get my uses on it, and honestly, having to sharpen it with every use, I'll probably be down halfway, but anyway, wah wah. <laughs> number seven, boop. A product you use on your nose, it can be anything. It can be highlight, pore strips, contour, a mask, highlight powder, foundation, concealer, is it sticker, like I don't, I don't care, whatever you put on your nose. I brought in the Essence Contour Duo. I love this powder for contouring my nose. That's all I use it for, this color right here. I want to use it 20 times. right here I love it I love this color for contouring my nose that's all I, I don't use it on my face I don't contour my face I just use bronzer and whatever I am going to leave that at 20 uses for now no I'm, I'm going to increase that one to 30 also <laughs> so yeah I will use this 30 times also you know what happened when I was putting products in here and selecting them for the intro, my mind hadn't converted that I had all year to work on these. I was thinking I had to get uses and roll stuff out like I did last year. No, I have 12 months, so yeah. The next one is 
cat litter. This is credit to Lynn S. Something that makes a mess. Okay. This is the other scrub I was working on. It's the Coconut Coffee Scrub by Frank Body. I opened this on the 12th of November. It was completely dry. Like when I scooped a handful out, it was just like flaking out, just completely dry. So I tried to add a little bit of water from the shower just to make it stick to my skin so I could use it. I wasted a ton. Yesterday, before I used it, I added some oil in here, an oil that I'm panning. I just put some droppers in here, mixed it in really good, got in the shower. I was super hopeful and it was just dry, but the places that I had put oil, the oil had congealed into like little clump balls. Cool. Excuse me. So I added some water from the shower, shook the bag around and it was just a mess. So basically I covered my body in this and Scott came into the bedroom for something and he said, it smells like coffee. And so I had him come and look in the shower and he, the look on his face when he pulled the shower curtain back and saw me, I looked like a five-year-old child playing in the mud. He was like, what did you do? So he went and got his phone to take a picture. And if I can find a way to block out, you know, the nakey nakey part, uh, I will show you what that scrub looks like on the body. It is hysterical. I love everything about it, except for the fact that it dried out so quickly. Is there a... It says 12 months on it from when you open. Okay, for no, absolutely not. The code on here says something 2020. Is that when it was made? There's not an expiration date on here, but if you get one of these, have the intention of using it right away. That's all I, that's, okay, anyway, that's done. Number nine, catnip, an item that makes you lose your mind. My sweet, sweet baby love. From Dreamland Lacquer, this is Shake Your Shamrock. This came in Polish Pickup in May. My goal is to use it five times. Have not used it yet. I have a red in a project right now, six Hello Taco toppers, and a blue. And I'm not wearing any of them right now. I did a very beautiful fall look. This is a trio from Pretty Woman Nails. Oh came in BoxyCharm a hundred years ago and then they had this kit in pop-up for I think four dollars bonkers one of my favorite trios of all time oh and I put it on for Thanksgiving every year okay anyway I still need five uses on Shaker Shamrock number 10 Catitude a product you wear when you're feeling sassy or feel sassy when you wear it uh <sighs> I'm sorry, you cannot put on these lashes and not feel a little sassy poo. These are the Poop Lunch Lashes. That is right, the brand is called Poop Lunch. I want to use all seven pairs of these. The first pair I wore November 6th, 7th, 10th, and 12th. On the 12th, I had an accident with the glue and I got glue like into the lashes so the lashes stuck together and they just they had a bad time so those lashes the top pair they're done so i opened a new pair today that's what i have on now these are very fluffy very large lashes when i put them on today i cut out a whole section of the outer corner and they are still ginormo and i i love them these are on amazon you get seven pairs for maybe like eight or nine dollars if you want a link for that, let me know. Number 11, Chihuahua, a product the beauty community can't stop yapping about. Mm -hmm. This time of year, it is all about the Hourglass palettes. This is the first one I have ever purchased. I, these are expensive. These are not, this is not my price range. In most years when I'm looking at these, there is a shade in them that I won't wear. That makes these not a good deal for me. But when this one came out this year, I realized I could use every single shade in here. And that really, really excited me. And I've been wanting to try the bronzer and the two 
what are these called? Like the buffing, blurring powders. And so to have that be three out of the six powders in here was perfect this year. So I went ahead and I traded myself to this for my birthday. My goal is to use it 30 times and each pan counts as a use. Today I used it for the first time and I used the two powders and they were lovely. So I'm at two out of 30 uses. And I'll probably, I'll probably increase the usage on that too. We'll see how that goes. Uh, number 12, Corgi Butt Wiggles, a gel product, something that jiggles. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. It's a little mini one. I want to finish this. I've already used it twice. I wonder if I can get a little tiny bit out on my finger. <laughs> it looks it looks just like jello. Oh. So yeah, it definitely wiggles. And this actually is kind of a hydrator, so I will just I'll put that on my hand. That won't hurt a thing. Just remind me to wipe that off in like 10 minutes. Okay. My goal is to finish that. Number 12, German Shepherd. They are guard dogs. A protector, an item that protects your makeup, SPF, primer, setting spray, etc. I chose the little pore minimizer primer from Smashbox. I want to finish this and I have used it three times. These don't have a lot of product in them and I go through these pretty fast. What I'm saying is that could be an empty for the next time. Number 14, Harness. This is a new prompt, credit to Kim at Teacher Loves Beauty. A product you have to stop yourself from using because you love it so much. Yes, the Laneige Lip Balms. This is the, this is called a glowy, Lip Glowy Balm. This is their new scent this year in Peppermint. My goal will be to finish this. And honestly, I'm kind of like, I'm not letting myself use that very often right now. I do take that with me if I'm leaving the house because I don't want to be sticking my finger into a pot if I'm out at the grocery store or whatever, but that'll be in here for a while. Number 15, Husky. Huskies are loud talkers. This is a new prompt, credit to Toto. A loud product, a bold color or loud packaging. This is a bold color, holy moly. This is the LYS Cream Blush in Empower. This needs some serious serious blending out. Oh, good. That would have been a really beautiful color for today, though. Hmm. Shoot. I didn't wear that today. I want to wear that 15 times, and so far I'm only at two. And that one, I think I'm okay leaving that at 15. <laughs> ID tags. Product that starts with the first letter of your name. I went with Urban Decay. This is the 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil in Psychedelic Sister. I freaking love this one. Brings me joy. Look at that purple. Look at it. Mmm. So yum. I want to use this 20 times, and I am at use number four. Number 17, Labrador or Golden Retriever. They are hunting dogs. A product that you had to hunt down or was hard to find. The AOA slim brow pencils are my favorite these went out of stock for several months i got the email that they were back in stock and i bought a lot of them i love them and i want to finish this i haven't started this because i'm working on two others and other projects litter box an item you wish your cat would bury in their litter box I hate this it is the kvd Tattoo liner in Trooper Black. I don't do liquid liner. My eyes water too badly. And the second this gets near my eyes, my eyes are like, ooh, I can do something about this. And they just, it's just a whole thing. And then like it melts this and then this gets in my eyes and my eyes water more. It's a whole bad thing. So I've decided that I will finish this. It's getting older and I'm going to use this in my brows and I ha did use it in my brows today just to add a couple little hair strokes and that's how that'll be used. Long-haired cat favorite hair product. 
probably not my favorite favorite but I needed this in a project and this was a good prompt for it. It is the Biolage Color Last Shampoo. I want to finish this. This has been opened. I don't mark uses on stuff usually that I'm trying to finish. Poo bags, something you always run out of at the worst time. This is no joke. I came up with that prompt and some people don't understand what that means. If, if you live in your own home and you don't take your dogs out for walks, this isn't your struggle. <laughs> I live in apartment condos and we have like poo areas. We have to take our dogs out to certain areas to potty. We have to pick up after our own pets as we should and it never fails that the dogs will poo. I'll pick up their poo and then one of them will poo again and I'll go to grab another poo bag out of the little dispenser and it's empty. And it's like when it's sleeting outside or like pouring rain or something and I have to walk like all the way across the parking lot through this scary mailbox area to like an area where they have some for free, you know. It's a deal. Anyway, poo bags. It's a serious thing. Something you always run out of at the worst time. I added in the conditioner to go with my shampoo. Uh, I just think that's a crappy thing to run out of any shower any bath product when you are in the middle of your shower and you're soaking wet and you're like oh i need soap i need a razor i need whatever it is and you have to get out and soak your bathroom to get whatever okay so anyway i want to finish that rant over poodle a product that makes you feel high maintenance a bougie item in your collection for sure this Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 15 Full Cover Oil Free Shine Control. This is in N012 Porcelain. This is the first foundation in my entire life that has been a perfect shade match. This summer when I went to California and then on to Vegas, Danny and I went to the CCO. I'd never been there before. And we swatched on me every single foundation they had in the entire store. And this one, when we put it on me, we were both like, wait a minute, what just happened? And so I bought some. It's right here. You probably can't see it. Not that, that's my concealer, it's over here. When I tell you it is the perfect shade match, it really is, and I have never experienced that in a foundation. Oh, it's, just, it's delightful. I want to finish that. I've only used this one once. I was finishing another one this size in another project. Pug, item with cute packaging. Oh, some of the cutest. This is from Sydney Grace. It's the Tiny Marvels palette that they did with Mel Thompson. I'm wearing two of these shades today. I have on Tree Hopper which is this like mustardy color and this one here called love bug kind of this I'll swatch these for you oh, right over right over my foundation swatch I forgot it was there right here can you see these right here oh love them and my goal for this palette is to use it 12 times normally when I say I want to use a palette, I'll say I want to use it 30 times each pan counts. But the way that I have been marking uses is that I just have been marking it like I want to use it 12 different days. So today like I used, oh, I used another shade in here too. Anyway, I used three shades in here today, but that's just going to count as one use because I, I want to get like good uses on that. It's an older palette. I don't know when they made the extras you know to keep going after Mal passed but it's an older palette and I can tell when I did my brush in it's extremely there's so much kickback and I just want to get some use on it before I have to just retire it you know okay anyway so I have uh, nine uses left on that Scooby-Doo a mystery item item that came in a mystery bag or an item you've never tried before <sighs> this is a total lie it, it, neither of those really apply but they kind of apply. Okay. Anyway, I have this Clinique Chubby Stick in Whole Lotta Honey. This is one of the moisturizing lip balms. Let me build it up there. 
right here. It's a beautiful color, beautiful formula. Last year around holiday, Macy's had a set of 20, 24, 30, I don't know, of these on a great sale. I showed it to Scott. Scott purchased it for me. I had never tried this formula before and I didn't really know what I was getting. I knew I was getting a bunch of the chubby sticks, but I didn't really know what colors. I mean, it showed them all online, but I didn't really pay attention. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm using it for this prompt. And with these, you don't sharpen these. What you see on the tip, that's all, that's all you get. These are showers, not growers. Oh, don't be gross. Um, number 24, scratching post. Any nail product, polish, cuticle oil, whatever you want to use. I had this in the last round for the 101 Dalmatians. So I used it 101 times and I want to finish it now. It's the Cuchillo cuticle oil. I don't know how to hold this bottle. That's what's left in it now. This should not be a problem to finish. And I'm not really marking uses on it. Now it is to finish. I just, I'm using it whenever I do. 25, service or emotional support animal. Loyal, a product that never lets you down. This is absolutely true. If I don't know what to do with my makeup, like if I sit down and I'm just, I'm feeling overwhelmed and my, and I don't have the brain space to think up a look, I will always, absolutely always grab for this palette. It is Flight Club from Menagerie. And I just have that certain purple look that I always do. I do the same look every single time and it turns out beautiful every single time. If this palette is on sale right now for Black Friday, I would pick this up if you don't have it. It's, it's a good one. That's another one that I want to use 12 times. Not 12 pans, but just I want to use it 12 times over the next year. Sharpay, a skincare product that combats wrinkles. This was gifted to me from Kim. This is the Seed Phytonutrients Lightweight Facial Lotion. This will probably get used as a hand cream when I'm done with a couple others. I have not used this one yet, but I'm guessing that's how I will use that. And my goal is to finish that. Number 27, Shih Tzu Maltese. Something small that has a big impact. Pigment, highlighter, etc. I, for this one, have in Pattaya from Cleona, my one true love. I have never used this as a highlighter. I only use this as an eyeshadow. As an eyeshadow, and it, like it's just sick. You know what I mean? It's pretty cool. I want to use that 15 times, and in the last month, I used it four. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna have any problems getting 15 uses on that one. Number 28, St. Bernard, something that rescues your makeup look, setting, setting spray, powder, topper, whatever you want it to be. I am going with my paint pot and painterly. Paint pots save my look. If I don't have a good base down on my eyes, I'm not gonna have a good eye look. Painterly, I want to use 30 times and I'm at use number four. I'm thinking 26 uses could actually finish that out. So if I don't finish it in 30 uses, my goal will be to finish this, but we'll see. I am working on two other paint pots and some shadow sticks and some other things right now. So this one is not priority, but I have used it four times. Number 29, treats. Something you purchase to treat yourself. I explained before that I have used Grande Brow serum for many years and I just feel like I've kind of like peeked out on whatever it's going to do for me and it honestly is not much. So I am switching over to use the ABH Brow Genius Brow Serum. My goal will be to finish this one. I have been working on it for a while. I wish that I would have marked the date that I opened it but I I, I mean I didn't even think to honestly. So 
I'm guessing probably, I've probably had this one open two months, maybe. So this one should be done in the next couple of months, I would guess. And last but not least, vet bills, <laughs> an expensive item. Holy moly, this is not a good, good value. This is the Hourglass Veil Powder. 10.5 grams in here. And this is expensive. Like, I want to, I want to look this up just really quick. Okay. So this is not a good value. This is 10.5 grams and this was $49. Is that what my inventory just said? $49 for 10.5 grams. What? The Full size Laura Mercier translucent setting powder is 29 grams and that's $43. People choke to spend $43 on the Laura Mercier powder, but you get three times the amount of product for less money. So as much as I love this powder and I think it's beautiful, I wanted to try it. It's just one of those items that has been on my wish list for a long time and I got it five times points and like there was a whole thing, but like it's not a good value. My goal will be to finish it. Obviously I'm getting every penny out of this and so far I've used it eight times. Whew, rant, rant a -roo. That is that. I have not yet done the bonus prompt, which is helping pause. I, don't know when they will be featured in my set it free but Bentley had a couple more sweaters another top I had an old towel a fuzzy blanket he had another harness there were a few more things that I added to the box of stuff that I had from last time that I still have not dropped off I'm a terrible human being but yeah so as soon as I get my bag of food from Costco, I will get that dropped off and I will do a cash donation when he is, when I renew his pet license for the year. Okay. Anyway, holy moly, that is a lot of rambling. And did I even finish anything this time? Yes. I finished the coffee scrub. Was that it? That's all I've done. That's all I've finished so far. No, oh, I'm on a roll. Okay, anyway, uh, thank you for giving me some of your time. Please like this video. For real, like it. You just, it doesn't hurt you. It doesn't cost you anything. You just click that little button and it thumbs thumbs it up. You can thumbs it down if you want to. Like if that's where if that's where your heart's at, you can, you can do that too. Leave me a comment and hit the subscribe button. I, <sighs> I think that'd be really cool of you. I mean, if you want to be cool, then you would subscribe. If you don't want to be cool, I mean, that's fine. Listen, that's that's up to you. Okay, anyway, uh, I gotta go. I gotta go. I got more stuff to do today. It's Thanksgiving in a couple days. <laughs> Shit. Okay, anyway, uh, I love you. All right, Mina, bye. Hi. So this year I am going to, no, I already Number did. 12, Corgi Butt Wiggles, a product that jiggles. Oh wait, that's not what that says. Shit. I mean, close. You almost had it, kid. Number 14, Harness Credit. <laughs> I have this Clinique chub. <laughs> I have this. God, I said a terrible thought that I didn't start camera <laughs> that would have sucked I look look I don't know I don't I don't I don't know why I'm like this you you keep coming back so listen I'm not saying I'm not saying that you're rewarding bad behavior I'm just saying